control here, and uh, I was a little bored just sitting around, so I thought I'd review some toys. Now, usually on Felt Reviews, we review movies and stuff, but this is a Felt Reviews Toys Edition. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, and today we'll be reviewing the Taco Sesame Street Beans from uh, 1998. I, mean, I may be wrong on that one, so we'll, we'll look back in a minute, but, uh, yeah, but we'll be reviewing some Taco Sesame Street Beans. Now, I really like these toys. They're some of my favorite collectibles in my entire collection. I remember the first time I saw them, I was just like, because they're so cool. All right, now uh, let's get right on to it. So, uh, this ain't the whole set. We only have seven of them, but, uh... Wait a minute. I'm on those beans. Introducing Sesame Street Beans, 24 pounds to collect, love, and learn about. Sesame Street Pluses I've seen, they don't look that close to the real Muppets, but I still really like them, and they're still really nice to have in the collection. Now I'll start with Elmo, since he's the most important to most people. To me, Big Bird's most important, but you know, you know, everyone's got their own opinion, so I just thought I'd go with second best to me. So uh, here's Elmo here. Hello, uh -huh, Elmo. And uh, Elmo here, he's made of this nice, I think that's kind of velvet material, I'm not really sure. He's made of this nice, soft material, he's not really furry, which is kind of a shame, but it's still kind of cool. And he got his, his eyes there. And uh, yeah, for some reason a lot of these, the mouths are the same color as the skin. I don't know what the deal is with that, but that's Elmo. Everybody! Everybody, Snuffy Big Bird! Come uh, see what what's Elmo it? did! Well, what have you done, Elmo? Well, well, Elmo wrote his own song! Now, next right here, I got probably my favorite character from Sesame Street, the Cookie Monster. Cookies, cookies, cookies! And, uh, Cookie Monster, he's... This isn't the actual main Cookie Monster beanie, because the material is different that he's made out of. And he's a lot smaller. I think this is, like, one of the many kind of variations of the... Beanie, and he was from 1997. Yes, so this is 1997. It's not the, the the really the real thing. It's just one of the variations, but still pretty cool. Oh, oh me love the letter C. Now here's Bert. Now we only have Bert. We don't have Ernie. We'll be we'll find Ernie eventually though. But uh. Like Cookie Monster, he's one of the variations of them because he's made out of different material and he's a lot smaller. And he was also from 1997. These were all made by Tycho. I think I already said that. I don't know. Uh, just so you know, uh, there's the Tycho logo right there. And uh, yeah, so that's Bert. His sweater's really nice. I like that sweater. Ernie? Ernie? Hey, Ernie, what are you doing? Can I, can I sit in my chair, huh? No, here's another one of my favorites. Is Big Bird's best friend, Mr. Snuffleupagus. Hi, Bird. Yeah, Mr. Snuffleupagus, he doesn't look too close to the actual Muppet, but still pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so he's really nice and soft, and he's on four legs, and there's beans in all his feet, too. And, uh, there's his face, there's his eyes, he has those big eyelashes, as you remember. And, uh, let's see the tag. His tag's a little faded out. Um... Yeah, 1997. Again, Tycho. So, yeah, there's Mr. Snufflepagus. Oh, bird. Oh, oh, hi. Welcome to Sesame Street. Look at my little yeah, sister, yeah, yeah. Alice. Isn't yeah. she something? Now, this one here, this is one of my favorites, and also the very first one I got. This was given to me as a gift when I was just a little monster. But, uh, here's Telly Monster. Hi, I'm Telly Monster. And uh, his tag is missing, but I'm guessing he's from 1997 like all the other ones are. But uh, Telly's very nice. He's made out of this nice kind of velvet material. His eyes there and his yarn hair. But there's Telly. Hi. Beauty like that isn't something to keep to yourself. Uh-uh. Hey, Oscar! 
Hey, take a look at this. Oscar, I got something to show you. What? Oscar. What? Oh, oh. Well, now we're talking. Now we got an obscure character here. Now, here we got Sherlock Hemlock. Uh, he's a more, one of the more obscure characters. This is Sherlock Hemlock. Egad, Sherlock Hemlock here, the world's greatest detective. Wherever I'm needed, I go. Yeah, Sherlock Hemlock, again, was one of the older ones. His tag is missing, too. Uh, so, yeah. So, um, I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, I think he's made in 97, too. This one's not the best when you compare him with the real Muppet, since his nose is purple, and the real Muppet's nose is pink. But, uh, that's okay. He's still a nice collectible. Egad. <laughs> I am ready to solve the mystery. Now this one I wanted to say for last. Here is a honker, if you remember the honkers. <laughs> uh, and I think there was a few different honkers they made, but this one's the best. It's this green honker right here. And uh, tag says Tyco 1997. And I actually got this one relatively recently at thrift store. And he's in great condition. And this one's my favorite. I love him. Yeah, 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 we're gonna... Around the clock we're gonna Around the clock we're gonna Around the clock we're gonna And that there is my collection for you of Sesame Street beans. Yeah, we'll do more. Uh, tell me in the comments below if you like these little toy reviews.